Okay, so when you do this hand stitching, this head attachment, the gusset into the side pieces, you normally put the wrong sides together and over sew around the whole thing. So you end up with that kind of ridged on the outside. I don't like that how that looks. So I was missing machine stitch it inside out and pop it out. So it's a nice smooth finish. Um, in order to do that, I have reduced the bulk on the little darts. You do want the risk of cutting that too deep and it opening. I've also done the same to the ear pieces, so that gives me less bulk to sew through. And then all I've done is I've pinned it. I've started at the nose and gone all the way around one side. And then I've started on the other side. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a thin but safe seam margin with that small stitch length and I'm going to sew it all the way around. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to ease it on the corners. I'm going to slow down on those darts to make sure I don't break a needle. I've also pushed the earpiece downwards. So from the inside. I don't know if I can unfold it enough for you to see. You can't really see it. Um, the ears like, so what I've done is I've pushed it down here and put and pin there and I'll be able to fill that bit of bolt. So I'm gonna scoop past that bit with my sewing machine needle. Um, the other thing you need to look out for is puckering. So if anything's going to puck it, it's going to be the side headpiece. Because that's easing around the corner. The other piece is bigger, so it's going to smooth out easier. That might pucker. So just sew with that side sticking up. Also, you can then make sure you get your nose piece nice and flat. And you'll just stop it from kinking and puckering. So... And be careful with your fingers because there's lots of potential for pins to get stuck into you. And it bleeding well hurts. <laughs> this is a woman of experience. Right, so. You just have to take it really slow and steady. You can see better there. So I'm just manoeuvring it around. Might go up just a little bit for you. I don't know what was best for you actually. So I push that down. I'm just following that. So make sure that your piece underneath is lying nice and flat as well. So now coming up to the bit with the ears and the down. So you feel where it's starting to get thicker. The um, darts on the ears, so now I'm coming up towards the nose. Okay, everything nice. And Just trying to see here. It's my nose piece. Just trying to keep it nice and flat so all goes through nice and even. So we're going to pivot, make sure you put your needle in the down position so you can pivot your fabric around and not lose your spot. 
And if you are going to do that, don't pull on it either because it might bend your needle out of place. And you end up, you need to come back down and end up hitting the metal plate on your um, machine and end up breaking it. So I'm just like keep flattening it out. So I'm now coming up to the second lot of darts in here. Remembering to keep it all nice and flat. Gently now pop him out, her out, isn't it? As a girl, Otter. So, if your seams are a little bit stiff, you can roll them just to bring them out a bit. to pull and tug or get pencils and try and rip it through there you're likely to um cause some damage oh it's such a sweet little head so ears coming down forehead coming down to the little nose but you see i've got this little and bit so your eyes are going to be like here I guess it was what the team of hand buttons are for, isn't it? I normally use um, black safety eyes, the really small ones. Let's go and put a position. Wonderful, so I'll have it done. So now the next part is the throat piece which just goes in here so i will show you the next video how to pin and sew that in so you have to turn your head back outside the way <laughs> okay see you in the next video